1. The honey badger is the only species of the genus Molivora and belongs to the diverse mustelid family, which includes eight other badger species, otters, weasels, and the wolverine one. 2. The honey badger has a striking coloration, jet black with a gray mantle, and a white stripe running from the head down to the base of the tail. The mantle and the stripe may vary in color and thickness from one individual to the next two. 3. The honey badger is sexually sized amorphic, with males at least one-third larger than females. From the shoulder, the honey badger stands at a height of 250 millimeters high. The males weigh on average 9 to 16 kilograms, while females weigh 5 to 10 kg too. For dot the honey badger has loose-fitting skin, which is 6 millimeters thick around the neck, that protects its vital organs during a brawl and allows it to wriggle out of any grasp and even twist around to bite any assailant silly enough to grab them too. 5. The honey badger has short, sturdy legs, with five toes on each foot, armed with powerful claws of up to 40 millimeters in length. Their low-slung frame and short legs make them animals of stamina, not speed, and their distinctive jog trot allows them to relentlessly pursue their prey until it has collapsed with exhaustion too. 6. The honey badger is territorial and uses its anal scent glands to mark its territory. It can turn these glands inside out, and emit a pungent distraction when escaping from predators too. 7. The honey badger is omnivorous and has a varied diet that includes insects, rodents, birds, reptiles, amphibians, fruits, roots, and honey. It is particularly fond of bee larvae and honey, and can withstand hundreds of bee stings thanks to its thick skin and immunity to venom 23. 8. The honey badger is also known to eat venomous snakes, such as cobras and puff adders, and can survive their bites due to its resistance to venom and its ability to enter a state of torpor that allows it to recover from the effects of the poison 23. 9. That the honey badger is not afraid to take on larger animals, such as buffaloes, rhinos, lions, and hyenas, if they threaten its den or young. It will bite indiscriminately at any part of the body it can reach, and will not back down until the attacker retreats or dies 3. 10. The honey badger is sometimes seen in a mutualistic relationship with other animals, such as the greater honey guide bird or the black-backed jackal. The bird will lead the badger to a beehive, and then feed on the wax and larvae after the badger breaks it open. The jackal will follow the badger and scavenge on the leftovers of its kills 23. 11. The honey badger is mostly solitary, except during mating season or when a female is raising her young. Mating can occur at any time of the year, and the female has a gestation period of six months. She will give birth to one or two cubs in a burrow or a hollow tree 23. 12. The honey badger cubs are born blind and hairless, and will stay with their mother for up to 14 months. During this time, she will teach them how to hunt and defend themselves. The cubs will become independent when they reach sexual maturity at two years of age 23. 13. The honey badger has an average lifespan of 8 years in the wild, but can live up to 24 years in captivity. One famous captive honey badger named Stoffel became a star of a documentary that showed his incredible intelligence and escape skills 3. 14. The honey badger has an enormous brain for its size, and is one of the most intelligent animals in the world. It can undo locks, unwrap wires, and climb out of enclosures. It is also one of only a few animals that can use a variety of tools, such as rocks, sticks, and balls of dirt 31. 15. The honey badger has a remarkable sense of smell that allows it to locate prey underground or under thick vegetation. It can also detect carrion from several kilometers away. Its eyesight and hearing are less developed, but still adequate for its needs 21. 16. The honey badger is mostly nocturnal in areas where it faces human disturbance or competition from other predators. However, it can also be active during the day in more remote or cooler regions. 
It does not have a fixed den, but will use any suitable shelter, such as an abandoned burrow, a rock crevice or a hollow log 21. 17. The honey badger has a distinctive vocal repertoire that includes growls, hisses, whines and screams. It will also make a loud clucking sound when it is excited or agitated, such as when it is chasing prey or fighting an enemy 21. 18. The honey badger is widely distributed in Africa, Southwest Asia, and the Indian subcontinent. It can be found in a variety of habitats, such as savannas, woodlands, grasslands, deserts, and mountains. It is adaptable to different climatic conditions and altitudes 1. 19. The honey badger is listed as least concern on the IUCN Red List, due to its wide range and occurrence in a variety of habitats. However, it faces several threats, such as habitat loss, persecution by humans, poisoning and trapping. It has already disappeared from some parts of its former range, and its population is declining in others 1. 20. The honey badger is also known by other names, such as the radal, the zoril, the putwa, and the mafido. It has inspired many legends and stories in different cultures, and has been featured in books, films, and documentaries. It is regarded as a symbol of courage, strength, and resilience 231.